Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the second week of March 2022. Actor Emilio Delgado died March 10, 2022 in New York City. He died of cancer at the age of 81. He was best known for his role on Sesame Street, where he played fix-it shop owner Luis for more than 40 years. He is being remembered for offering one of the earliest positive portrayals of a Latino man on TV. Delgado was a veteran of the California National Guard. Actor William Hurt died March 13, 2022, in Portland, Oregon. He died of complications of prostate cancer at the age of 71. He won an Oscar for Kiss of the Spider Woman and was known for many other movies including Body Heat, The Big Chill, and Children of a Lesser God. Hurt is also being remembered for his role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, whom he played in five movies from The Incredible Hulk to Black Widow. Singer and reality TV star Tracy Braxton died March 12, 2022 of esophageal cancer at the age of 50. She was the sister of R&B star Tony Braxton, and they appeared together with their other sisters in the reality show Braxton Family Values. Braxton is also being remembered for her singing career, both in the Braxtons with her sisters and as a solo artist with singles including Last Call. Musician Bobby Nelson died March 10, 2022, at the age of 91. She was Willie Nelson's older sister, and she played the piano in his band for more than 50 years. Nelson is being remembered for the love she shared with her brother in their long-lasting musical partnership. Musician Timmy Thomas died March 11, 2022, at the age of 77. He was best known for his 1972 R&B hit, Why Can't We Live Together. He wrote and sang the song, as well as playing all instruments when he recorded it. Thomas is also being remembered for songs including People Are Changing" and Gotta Give a Little Love. Football referee Johnny Greer died March 8, 2022, in Pasadena, Maryland, at the age of 74. He was the first black referee in the NFL, beginning in the 1988 season. Greer is also being remembered for officiating Super Bowl XXII. Pro wrestler Scott Hall died March 14, 2022, at a hospital in Marietta, Georgia. He died of complications from hip surgery at the age of 63. He became a legendary heel when he wrestled as Razor Ramon for the WWF. Hall is also being remembered for co-founding WCW's New World Order with Hulk Hogan and Kevin Nash. Chef Sally Schmidt died March 5, 2022, at her home in Philo, California, at the age of 90. She co-founded the popular Napa Valley restaurant, The French Laundry, where she was the longtime chef. Schmidt is being remembered as a pioneer of California cuisine, cooking simple recipes with fresh local ingredients. Journalist Elsa Clench died March 4, 2022, at her home in New York City, at the age of approximately 92, though reports of her age vary. She hosted Style with Elsa Clench on CNN for more than 20 years, from 1980 to 2001. Clench is being remembered for bringing fashion and design into American homes in the years before the Internet.
Professor Lauro Cavazos died March 15, 2022, in Concord, Massachusetts, at the age of 95. He was appointed Secretary of Education by President Ronald Reagan, and he became the first Latino cabinet member in U.S. history. He is also being remembered as the first Latino president of Texas Tech University, as well as a longtime professor of anatomy at Tufts University. Cavazos was a U.S. Army veteran of World War II. Editor Annie Flanders died March 10, 2022, at an assisted living facility in Los Angeles. She died of complications of Alzheimer's disease at the age of 82. She founded Details Magazine in 1982, initially covering downtown Manhattan culture and lifestyle. Flanders is being remembered for lovingly chronicling and influencing the wild style of the 1980s. On March 15, 2022, nine people were killed when a van carrying members of the University of the Southwest golf team was struck by a pickup truck in West Texas. Eight of the victims have been publicly identified. Their names are Travis Garcia, Tyler James, Carissa Raines, Mauricio Sanchez, Henrik Siemens, Tiago Souza, Lacey Stone, Jackson Zinn. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Delaware have been lowered to honor the memory of Clayton Town Manager and Clayton Fire Company Chief John Pridemore. Flags in Arizona have been lowered to honor the memory of former State House Minority Leader Robert McClendon. Flags in Missouri have been lowered to honor the memory of Joplin Police Corporal Benjamin Lee Cooper and Joplin Police Officer Jake Reed, who were killed in the line of duty. Flags in Georgia have been lowered to honor the memory of Samuel Allen Massell Jr., former mayor of Atlanta. Flags in Connecticut have been lowered to honor the memory of Rocky Hill Fire Captain James Lamar, who died in the line of duty as a result of work-related cancer. Flags in Alabama have been lowered to honor the memory of Macon County Commissioner Robert Mike Berry. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of former Lieutenant Governor Margaret Farrow. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Five years ago this week, rock and roll pioneer Chuck Berry died of natural causes at the age of 90. NASA astronaut Kalpana Chawla was born 60 years ago this week. She died in 2003 in the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster at the age of 40. Author John Updike was born 90 years ago this week. He died in 2009 of lung cancer at the age of 76. Author Jack Kerouac was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 1969 of an abdominal hemorrhage at the age of 47. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.